What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power of Play with CJ, Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on Brent Moran, goaltender for the Ni Niagara Ice Dogs, uh, 2014 draft eligible goaltender, who I believe is the fifth ranked goalie according to uh, Central Scouting, which, or yeah, one of the scouting services. There's, there's enough of them out there. Um, but going a step further with Moran, I like his name. He's a big goalie. He's uh, about 6'4, a little under 200 pounds. You know, not wide but but tall and I mean let's just look at the direction the league's going you know originally it was athletic goalies talking about big and athletic goalies because having that mix makes it you know easier to swap pucks and that's just again the direction the league seems to be going um you know you look, you look at the year Ben Bishop had obviously Bishop's I think you know two and a half three inches taller than Moran but you know so it's awesome and I mean two Rask six three six four so um Going on that note, uh, I had a 385 goals against 891 save percentage. Not exactly uh, stellar numbers for the Ice Dogs, but uh, you look at one thing, and I just I didn't realize this until I read it in hockey news. The Niagara Ice Dogs home arena, the ice is 10 feet shorter than North than the standard um, for New York North American ice hockey. I mean, it does make a difference. You know, it sounds kind of stupid, but. You know, remember back to the Olympics, watching that huge ice sheet, the scoring chances were different than they are on smaller ice surfaces in, in, you know, the NHL or in North America. So even playing on a smaller ice surface, you know, gives, I think it's a little more advantageous to shooters. But, you know, that's just, um, you know, that's nature of the beast. And, you know, you have to kind of go off the eye test more so than the statistics. And, um, you know, I think he's going to be a big time going next season. I think his, his number is going to improve. And, again, I like his overall game. I mean, again, and you look at the way he... As I keep saying again, like an idiot, um, the direction goalies in the NHL are going. You know, they want bigger, athletic guys, and he has a um, he has that. I mean, he's not going to be ready to step in anytime soon. But you draft him now. You want him developed. You let him do two more years of major junior hockey, um, and then you you know you let him play in the AHL. You let him iron out his kinks, and you see uh, if the size and athleticism make him a quality professional goaltender. Um, you know, I think you could take. A look at what he has. He has a lot of parts. It's a matter of putting it all together. And I think if he does that, you'll get a steal. That'll probably go. I'm hearing somewhere in the second round. I think he'll probably slip into the third, maybe fourth round. But I think it'll be a solid return on investment. I mean, even if you already have a, a deep goalie pipeline in your system, might as well draft him because you know he's a, he's years away. But his upside could be um could be as high as any goalie in the draft. And you know, I mean, I think. Uh, Demko's the the he obviously is the number one. Uh, Nijokovic is the number two, and uh, Moran I think can creep his way up there. And you know, in five, six, years, seven years, where where are these guys going to be in their development? That's what you'd ask yourself more so than um, where they are right now. Because again, at that position, at this age, it's um it's tough. But you know, you go beyond the statistics with Moran, and uh, you know, I think you're going to get a solid goaltender down the line it's kind of boom or bust but we'll see uh we'll see what happens anyway that's what this episode of the power play with cj prospect profiles on brent moran goaltender for the niagara ice dogs of the ontario hockey league stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond later guys